Hello everyone, it's Percy number six. We're back here in Blue Midwest Mysteries. We're in lockdown quarantine. Hi, hello, <laughs> hello, how's it going everyone? I'm <clears throat> I'm Mr. MPS 2002. Sorry if I sound kind of bummed. It's because we just recorded a really good episode, except it turns out that we didn't actually record it. Yeah, that's, it's really, I, I really enjoyed that episode. That was a good episode, but you know what? We got it. We got it out of our systems, and um, now we, I think we can do another one that was, that'll be just as good. Well, like, the first time we recorded this podcast, like, we did three, right? The first one was good, the second one was really good, and then the third one was like, ooh. So hopefully we don't do that again. Yeah. Hopefully this is a good up. Yeah, that was a really bad episode, because we were all just so tired, man. We were just like, man, why do we do three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a mistake, but here we are doing our second one of the day, but our first one that counts. Hopefully this, yeah, I feel like for our next one, because we're, we want to record two episodes today. I feel like for our next one, we should maybe not record it. We should wait like an hour. Yeah. Like just chill, go do some shit and then come back and then maybe we'll take a breather. About. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Cause I, I think that was our problem last time is we just recorded three in a row because it was like 11 at night. Yeah, that was like, and we were out of popcorn, you know, <laughs> that's what really killed it. Yeah, dude. You know, All right, I, um, but I, I anyway, like... let's just, let's just go over what we talked about in the last, ep- in the unrecorded episode really quick, just to catch people up on our lives mm-hmm. and stuff. What have you been up to, man? I, well, you know, for me, a couple weeks ago, the semester ended, so before that I was doing, I was doing a lot more work, but, but now that the semester's done, I can just, I can do like a, I'm not doing my internship in the North Pole this summer and, and winter. So, uh, Sad. I know, I know. Sorry, your, your gifts won't be personalized from me this year. Sad. Uh, you really hate to see it. You, you hate to see it happen, but it's happening. And uh, that's okay, because now this summer I'm just going to work like a regular person. Uh, nothing crazy. And then I will just be watching a lot of television shows. Maybe playing some Pokemon, playing some Madden. Like, that's seeing my friends once, once you can actually go out in public that that's the game plan for the summer that's the blueprint yeah dude i um well i hope when you're working you're staying a safe distance from everyone six feet apart and, and wearing a mask yep because yep. if you go out in public currently in the condition that the world is in and you don't wear a mask then you fucking suck well i'm fortunate because I'm, I'm not i'm not working at like walmart or in a grocery store where i see literally hundreds of people a day i i'm working a small factory i see like 20 people a day there so it's nothing too crazy yeah that's that's yeah man i mean it's tough it's it kind of sucks that this is our first episode that we had to not record in person that we had to do over discord i know i thought i thought we would never have to do that but here we are yeah thank you coronavirus very cool dude if you like go back there, it's so fucking funny if you go back just a couple episodes ago because of how f- much we space these episodes out i'm talking about coronavirus and i'm like oh it's not that big of a deal it'll be fun <laughs> or whatever the fuck and but i was fucking wrong i'm i'm not i'm i'm enough of a man to admit when i'm wrong and i was big wrong on that one yeah i was i was watching that not too long ago too and i'm like oh man we were we were wrong about that yeah, let it be known. This is the first time Mr. MB2002 has ever admitted that he was wrong about something. So, so take take an audio recording of that. This is one for the record books. Mm-hmm. But I was wrong too because I think I said it was. I thought it would just be like uh, swine flu and stuff like that. Where well, like, to be fair, it was getting sensationalized to the same amount that fucking swine flu and Ebola were, mm-hmm. and those both proved to be not like a big deal to anyone. Exactly, but I mean, even at like then. Compared to now, I would have never guessed, like, swine flu or Ebola could be, like, with coronavirus. Like, Ebola, the funny thing with that, like, I remember talking about in high school, and, like, like, it was getting worse, but, like, people just stopped talking about it. And, like, who knows? Ebola might be very bad right now, but people don't talk about it. Yeah, but everyone's talking about coronavirus. Well, dude, it's been, like... <clears throat> it's been the whole year, basically. Like, coronavirus has been around since January. Mm-hmm. It just hasn't been in the U.S., Mm-hmm. Like, I was, uh, I was last night, you know, before I was going to bed, I don't even know how I got on it. I'm not, I don't listen to a lot of him, but I was on like watching John Mulaney stuff. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he was like on SNL hosting and like uh, on, on, uh, the leap year or leap day year, whatever, February mm-hmm. 29th. And he's like, 
I'm not here to promote anything, so I'm just going to promote the month of March. And it's like, well, that's ironic because March is when everything went downhill. Yeah, that's when we all had to shut down. Yep. But community radio keeps running. Yes, we certainly do. Um, yeah, man, well, I mean, it's good to hear you've been staying safe and stuff like that. What I have you too, been up to? I've been watching movies, as I am known to do. I've been going on a marathon of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, which are pretty good, even though I Ooh. remember hating them as a child. The guy who plays Roderick is great. Even the next one I'm about to watch today is going to be Diary of a Wimpy Kid 4, mm-hmm. Uh which is the one where they recasted everyone and Roderick uh, looks really bad now. So I'm dreading and also excited to watch that. Yeah, I'd be in the same boat. It'd be like, it's like a car wreck, right? And you're like, you, yeah, you, you gotta you, watch. You can't look away. Yeah. Um, I've been playing a lot of video games lately too. Far Cry 5 has been my life. Um, Ooh. that game is super duper fun. Very, it's, it's addicting, um, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man, I've just been, you know, honestly, this really hasn't affected my life that much other than I just can't really hang out with my friends anymore, which, I mean, it blows, but, you know, it gotta does. stay safe. It does. Yeah, I've been, believe it or not, I've kind of been getting back into editing the wiki. I've been like, I've been editing it a lot, but it probably... Yeah, yeah dude. Probably by the All time right. this goes up, I'll stop editing again, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I hopped on the, I hopped on the wiki a couple of days ago, and I started looking at some stuff. It's, it's crazy, because like, back when everybody was editing it, a lot of us didn't know how to spell. And I shouldn't say us, because that's including me. A lot of people who edited didn't know how to spell and mm-hmm. i still find pages like i, I was I'm, I'm editing the one of the pages about jack and there's a lot of misspelling there hmm. <laughs> yeah dude <clears throat> um another video game that i've been playing a lot lately is uh skyrim, skyrim. it's my it's my f- it's my first time playing through this game, and ev- all my friends tell me how great this fucking game is mm-hmm. and yeah it's a pretty great game i'm Honestly, I'm so su- actually I'm not surprised it took me till this long to play it, just because I'm not super into like the medieval stuff. Yeah. But I'm not far or not far right. Skyrim is just a Skyrim's just a good game, except okay, the combat cool. sucks in it. The combat sucks in it, but it's just fun to run around and uh, ride horses and shoot at dragons and stuff like that. It's just mm-hmm. it's cool. Yeah, definitely. That's that's a good deal. Are you yeah. like a like a fantasy guy? Do you like that kind of stuff? I, I don't. I mean, honestly, really, all I play is it's really Pokemon. And <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I, I play, I did a lot. And like, honestly, I think the best way to describe it, like, when crossovers were like the big thing in the community, I was doing Nuzlocks like that. Like, I was doing Nuzlocks all the time. I really enjoyed playing Pokemon Nuzlocks. I think it's just because I like... Pretty much all the games I want to play a Nuzlocke on, I've already done it and won them at least once. So it's like, you know, that's kind of worn off on me. I, I see a lot of people do like a solo challenge where it's like, can I beat the game with blank Pokemon? And I've done that before when, it, like, when I was younger. I, I did it with a Turtwig. I took Turtwig through the entire game. Hmm. I, I didn't know that became a challenge. But it's a challenge now, you know? Dude, so. Nuzlocke's are... Nuzlocks are a lot of fun. They're really hard, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. It's the the the. I think the the worst part is the grinding because it takes so long. Oh, that's the most annoying part. Yeah, definitely. Like you get you get a good team, and then you have to you know you face like a boss or you face a gym leader, and you like even if you lose like one or two Pokemon, then it's like odds are you have to take a Pokemon and train them up from scratch. So it's like that takes forever. Well, it's interesting that you mention how. This was in the era, this is kind of going off topic a little bit, it's not about Pokemon anymore, but how you mentioned this was in the era where everybody was doing crossovers because I was watch- I also watched your channel update video mm-hmm. this morning, my favorite Oof. series. And, Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, no, you just brought up that point in that video as well and it really made me think about how at first it was series. You know, Ch- a chase, uh, Key Gray kickstarted it, and then everybody else followed that. Yep. And then, then it switched over to reviews, and then specifically crossovers. Mm-hmm. Um, That's what you helped start. 
Yes, me me and the Joshua Louvier. How fucking weird is that? The first community crossover was between me and Josh. Like, that would be if, like, if the community was much bigger, that would be, like, a Jeopardy question. It would be like, ha, huh, make sure you know that. <laughs> that's so bizarre, dude. That's, <laughs> jo- you know, j- dude, Josh, like, I, I was talking to Josh the other day. Oh, really? He, he, like, hit me up in the DMs, and he was just like, yo, what's up? Hope you've been good. It's like, wow. yeah, man, I... That's nice yeah, of him. He's a, Josh is a good dude. He really is. I, I fuck with him. Um, but no, um, I it just makes me and now it seems like we're on remakes. That's the that's the thing, and it has been for a while. I just haven't really noticed because I don't really pay attention to. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't really watch people's content anymore. I just I just watching Tom stuff doesn't really interest me anymore. You know. And that's not just like I I'm a I'm a big user I'm a top train I don't watch any of the little <laughs> users no it's literally like I don't watch chases I don't watch anyone else's I just happened to watch yours today because I was bored and my watch later playlist was empty. <laughs> Same, but I mean I, I mean that's the thing you know like I, there's not a ton of people that upload like regularly I mean the only ones I can think of off the top of my head would be like Lego Lover and, and Train King James like outside of them nobody uploads that regularly anymore. Yeah, that's something that you really got to commend commend those guys on. I think mm-hmm. Lego Lover especially, he's super consistent with the upload schedule, whether it be Thomas videos or like his home media reviews or like I mean, he's just, he uploads he, he just like multiple videos a week. He's got a lot of content. He's got a very good upload schedule and so does James. Yeah, I mm-hmm. noticed that recently too. James really has stayed fucking consistent. So good on those guys. Yeah. And like, those I, guys those guys are really the only consistent uploaders anymore. <laughs> I, I mean honestly, like I'm sure people will be commenting like, Oh, what about me or what about this person? But like, I'm sorry, I can't I just can't think of really too many other people besides those guys. Yeah, if I don't know you exist, I'm sorry. It's nothing against We're you. We're just too I big just... of top trains to know you. Dude, literally, my only interaction with the Thomas community is I go on Twitter, like I go on the Mr. MPS 2002 Twitter, I tweet something funny, I go back in later and I see if anyone replied to anything, I go and I like some tweets, I go look at the drama of the day, I I look at my group chats, and then I fucking sign off. (laughs) Call it a day. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. Uh, You you stay on that Twitter too long and, whew. People are crazy on there. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, people really are wilding on Twitter. I'm honestly surprised that we haven't had more coronavirus, um, like really bad coronavirus takes from people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really surprised that we haven't had any um, anything like a, it's uh, if you wear a mask, you're a beta cuck. I'm, I'm really surprised we haven't seen any of that yet. I'm surprised we haven't seen people be like, it's really not that big of a deal. You should be able to go outside right now. Dude, yeah. It's just like people are stupid and selfish. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're but, right. But hey, you know, the Thomas community so far has not... I'm, I'm going to say this and then someone's going to go in the comments and be like, the Chinese created the coronavirus as a bioweapon. <laughs> and then fucking that's all going to start up, so... Yep. Yeah, we're going to get race wars down in the comment section. I honestly, I I did that to us. That was my fault. If I didn't bring it up, no one would have ever done it. That was, that, that was on me. You know, I, I remember your old podcast. People were like, like Lego Lover would listen to this like when he mows the lawn. I wonder if people still do stuff like that. Dude, fucking, yeah. That's so funny. I imagine Lego Lover listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Um, no, dude, I... Uh, I mean, I kind of hope they do. I just, I, I hope people enjoy community, community radio because I, I think it's a total blast, and it's like the mm-hmm. one thing that's still, other than my Twitter, that still keeps me tethered. So, and I, yeah. I enjoy that, and obviously, I just love working together with my friends to make videos and shit. Like, it's super dope. Oh yeah, I, I, I completely agree. It's, it's nice, and you know, like I, I really like our podcast. It just gives a. It gives us a break, you know? We talk about yeah, whatever, this, really. This is the podcast that people listen to and, like, they're making layouts or whatever. Because I know when I was building layouts, I would just put on long playlists. And I would just put them, just listen to these videos, not even watch them. Just listen to them while I was building my layouts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those definitely. So I, ho- I hope this, honestly, I kind of hope everything on community radio can kind of be like that. I think that would be sick. 
I think so. I mean, I think nobody really does anything with their with their uh, uh, thumbnail or the picture that they use in the video. So it's very easy to just put this in the background and work on a layout or something. Apart from like a like a quick gag or whatever like that being being thrown in. Yeah. Like I mean, uh, when, like when when uh, we were doing that episode with Ro, and I put in his graphic with the spilled uh, soda cup, <laughs> because he knocked over my friend's drink on him during uh, chapter that was two. Funny. <laughs> that was good times. <laughs> it was hilarious. So funny. Oh man. Uh, yeah. That guy. Well, I mean, I just also I I never really watched remakes that much in the first place. Just in general, I don't know. They just never really appealed to me that much. Mhm. Yeah. So like, I don't know, man. Uh, it's like, I don't know, it depends how bored I am, right? You know, there I don't get a ton of people that make Thomas content still, so usually if something comes up, I'll try. But I mean, like, I say that, but like, I've been trying to, like, I've had these tabs saved. Like, I saw Salty Stormy Tale on Twitter the other day. I'm like, oh, I like that episode. Still haven't watched that. Uh, the new episode from the CSC, like, I kind of want to watch that, but I still haven't watched that. So who knows if I'll ever get to them. Dude, I honestly, I can't wait for some fucking person to tweet, to watch this, and then go on Twitter and tweet out, Mr. MPS 2002, person number six, don't want to support their friends. They don't care about their friends, and they want them to fail. Let's Cancel them. them. It's not, yeah, I hope I hope we get canceled. Yeah. So that, that way we can just say whatever we want to without any fucking repercussions, because we're already canceled, so who cares? I could just say the N-word. Yeah, say it. I could just go on this podcast and say the N-word. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, I'm not going to because we haven't been canceled yet. You're right. we still got some time. <laughs> to, to let me bust in on the doors. Like, that's it, you guys. You went too far this time. Yeah, I'm surprised Lemmy hasn't said anything yet about, to know. us. Evil overlord Lemmy. Yeah. He, he's got all the power. He's got us by the strings. No, it's really I'm it's cool to see Lemmy really sort of like take on like a leadership role on this mm-hmm. channel. Because he does a lot for the channel. He fucking really does. We would probably be our channel this channel would not be active anymore. One hundred percent. Without Lemmy this channel would have been done. Yeah, and it's funny because originally Ted uh recreated <laughs> like made the idea to remake this channel and then Ted got his internship at the North Pole making mm-hmm. toys for Santa. Um so, yeah, dude, he heard you weren't going to have an internship anymore, so he decided to take your place. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you got to have at least one community representative up there helping helping make the Thomas the Train toys. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> dude, maybe next year it'll be me. Oh, uh, I hope so, man. I think you're ready. I just walk through Santa's, like, hallway, and it's just, like, a bunch of pictures with community members. It's, like, him with Chase and then him <laughs> with, like... <laughs> him with Me Ted. And Ted and... I'm, I'm like, what is, is, that, is that Roberto? What's Roberto doing there? <laughs> yeah, all the people that left like years ago, Damien, Arbofil. Arbofil. <laughs> <laughs> Arbofil's like in the picture. He's like holding a milk tanker that says MILF on it. <laughs> Johnny and his big black load. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so funny that everyone who leaves just goes to make toys for Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I made this kid in elementary school feel really bad because he made a joke about Santa not being real and mm-hmm. I like pretended that I still thought Santa was real so I like started fake crying and this I like made a big scene and this kid felt <laughs> so bad and then I like stopped crying because I was like just kidding it was all a joke <laughs> it was all a social experiment <laughs> that, that's great that's a, that's a huge flex man it was pretty epic that's good <laughs> good times yeah i i think you're ready to, to to be an intern up in the the north pole it gets a little cold but you're you're used to it yeah bro i'm from minnesota i'll i can handle anything you throw at me no you're from the blue midwest yeah bro that's right as long as i get some of those delicious fresh baked cookies from mrs claus she's she, they're very good she does a great job with them i do love me some cookies and, and I want, I just want Mrs. Claus's cookies in my mouth. Oh, you and, bef- you and before anyone goes suggesting anything, cookies is not a metaphor. I just want some cookies. That's a good, that's a good call. Get your mind out of the gutter if you think that was about anything different. Yeah, come on, guys. 
We're we're adults. Yeah, we're all we. This is only the most mature podcast. A mature podcast. Mature. Yeah, where we were just talking five minutes ago about how we're shocked we haven't gotten in trouble yet. <laughs> how we can't believe we haven't been canceled. Yeah, bro. It's probably Dude, bro, I got some... bro saving us. He, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's not even on community radio, but he's been in most of the episodes. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> well, because well, it's just when you haven't been able to make it, make it out to Milwaukee, he has gratefully filled in. You know, I always say it, but I feel like we got to make him the third, the third co-host one of these I, days. I know, dude. We got to officially induct him into into Blue Midwest, into community radio, dude. We'll do it. We'll do like when the world goes back to normal. We'll have like a big induction. It'll be like a baptism, you know. Yeah, we'll like I'll like take a knife and I'll like cut his hand open, <laughs> and then he'll, and then I'll like have him bleed his hand into a can of Baja Blast, and then we'll all pass around the can of Baja Blast. <laughs> And we all cut ourselves a little bit to put our own blood into it. Ah, ooh, wah, he, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that, that's yeah, how we that's... all join the community radio channel. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I still have a scar, a big scar on my hand. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think Ted got a little reckless with that blade. He got a little power hungry, but it is fine. Yeah, you know, it, Ted was just doing Ted things. <laughs> it's just what Ted be doing. <laughs> but but we, we, we survived to tell the tale. Yeah, thankfully we didn't get, uh, I was going to say we didn't get tinnitus, but I meant to say tetanus. You, you get tinnitus if something loud happens near your ear and it's the bringing noise. You don't want to get that. It's what uh, Baby has in Baby Driver. If you've never seen that movie, that's a, that's a real good one. What movie is that? Baby Driver. Oh, Baby Driver. I remember watching Baby's Day Out when I was a kid. Hmm, Kevin Spacey's in Baby's Dri- Baby Driver. Oh, uh, maybe, ooh. I feel like that shouldn't be a movie he's in, you know? He, you know he's, 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 I mean, I hate to say it, but he's really good in it. He's good in all, like, he, I loved him in House of Cards. Kevin Spacey's a great actor. It's just a shame that he's also a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, oh, I was talking to Lemmy last night, and we were talking about Family Guy. Because, like, it's, like, like there is that joke, like, Stewie's, like, oh, help, I'm trapped in Kevin Spacey's basement from, like, 2005. And it's, like, <laughs> ten years later, and it's, like, oh, <laughs> I crazy. see what they mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I um, used some clips from the trailer for Billionaire Boys Club for this class project I had to make for editing. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know about Billionaire Boys Club, that movie came out right after Kevin Spacey got canceled and it made like under a thousand dollars at the box office. Oh, was that the one? It was a total fuck up. Wow. Wasn't it, was that the one that was gonna be on Netflix or was that a different one? That was a different one. I think maybe, I remember he was gonna be like on a a Netflix movie. I think they, they might've, change yeah, yeah he was gonna be in are you thinking about all the time in the world or all the money in the world because he got so. re recasted for that one yeah yeah that's definitely it well i'm gonna look up and see how much money billionaire boys club made because now i'm interested billionaire, billionaire boys club i'm on his his wikipedia right now looking through all this he got nominated for a lot of house of cards stuff but he didn't win like any of it which to me is ridiculous Okay, the domestic opening weekend box office take of just six hundred and eighteen dollars. Holy shit! <gasps> that was they... the lowest of Spacey's career. Did they put it at any theaters? <laughs> Dude, this movie the budget was fifteen million dollars, and they only made two hundred two point seven million dollars. Wow. So really, they didn't make anything. No. They just l- lost fucking thirteen million dollars. That's, That's insane. That's bad. Holy moly. Yeah, well, hey, at least time. we'll ne- at least we'll never be Kevin Spacey. That's true. And you can put that on the back of the Blue Midwest Mysteries uh disc set. At, quote, at least we'll never be Kevin Spacey. Yes, we can we can put that all over Twitter. That we said we won't be Kevin Spacey. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I think we're good. Hopefully this one actually fucking recorded. Right? Well, for our luck, it right. didn't. Well, we're really bad at ending episodes, but yeah. uh, basically, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, wear a mask if you're going to go out in public. Uh, socially distance. Stay six feet apart. 
please just fucking don't be don't be dumb just Mm -hmm. just make the world safer try to help make the world safer please okay um i'll get off my soapbox but thank you everyone for watching yep yep thank you guys this is this is percy number six and i'm uh mr mps 2002 i thought you were gonna forget it for a second i'm glad you didn't i could never forget not one day in my fucking life could i ever forget it people won't let you forget it